Hey guys, how are you doing English man in Malta? I haven't done a foodie one for a while, but this is not really a foodie, this is going to be a taste test. I noticed a new product came out. This company is Three Hills. Ah, they've been going for many, many years. Ah, for, I think over a hundred years. The Three Hills is named after Gozo, the Three Hills of Gozo. But they do products, conserva. Listen, I'm not being paid for this, just in case you, you think. But I like the product. Someone gave me, um, I'm not sure which one. I'll tell you anyway, which one. Oh, the Maltese sandwich bread peppered one. And I thought, wow, this is really nice. This would make a really good video to show people what's in Malta. This product, Three Hills, it does lots of things, conserva, uh, others. You can just look at it online, Three Hills. I'll make a link below, so we go to them. This sandwich bread, really interesting. Maltese sandwich bread with peppered cheeselets. Uh, Maltese sandwich bread with pickles and beans. And this one is Maltese sandwich bread with tuna. They do a lot of nice products, this company. So it's Three Hills. You can buy it from any department store, from any small corner shop, from any supermarket. But what the star of the show is the Maltese Hobza. <laughs> Look at this, guys. Maltese bread. And I've got a... Uh, hey, listen, I was going to do this outside just to let you know. But it's a big gale outside, I couldn't believe it. I woke up this morning, I thought, hey, that would be nice. No clouds, uh, not, a, not a cloud in the sky. And I thought, I'll do the video outside for a change. We can start doing some cooking ones outside. I got all the stuff together and the wind started blowing. <laughs> when I first came to Malta, um, I was waiting, in those old days, you, you couldn't do it. So I always wanted to start a business. Um, that was my intention to come to Malta and start a business. But you couldn't start one without an ID card. And there was a six month wait for an ID card. So I thought, what, what the hell am I gonna do? Hang around here, s sitting around waiting. I mean, the money wasn't a problem, but I thought I wanna do something. So I walked around the uh, budget bar I was staying in, uh, up by the, uh, where was it on the top? Portobello, if anybody knows on the top there. There was a place called Watery Lane. I stayed in a friend's apartment there. I thought I'd have a walk around and I saw the, the hotels and I saw the waiters going in. I thought, oh, I can do that. I've had a business for a long, long time. I heard many stuff. So I walked in and they said, uh, I said, have you got, give us a job? <laughs> and he said, well, what can you do? And I said, well, I had a business for a long time and blah, 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 blah. I said, can you hold a tray? I said, yeah, I said, you can start. Go straight upstairs. <laughs> Have you got a white shirt? I said, well, I have to go home first and get a white shirt. He said, go and get a shirt then. Come on, you can start the dinner service. <laughs> and I, I just got on with them. Well, that was Flora in Budjibet. Nobody ever knows. I think uh, this changed to Premiera now. But there was a great, great gang there with some British. And so I, I wasn't out of place because everybody was talking English. All the, all the customers were English because it was Thompson's in those days that went to the hotel. And I did breakfast as well. And I... I got the hobs like this, and the manager, I was going, what the hell? He said, Steve, do you know how to cook a, uh, cut a, a Maltese loaf? I said, well, slice it down. He said, no, no. You start with the two ends, like this. Cut down the ends. Oh, listen to that, guys. It's, it smells gorgeous. I only just went to get it. I went down the bakery there in, uh, in Balzan. Beautiful, eh? Cut it in half. And then you got it nice and comfortable and you can cut some really nice they loved it the the, the english people because we most of it was traditional sort of no maltese food but when they had the soup listen to that guys and the smell smell that maltese bread is really to die for it's look at this look at it my mom used to say steve you cut you cut in doorsteps <laughs> I don't know where that comes from. Anyway, that's Morty's bread. So which one are we going to start? Are we going to do a taste test? <coughs> smells lovely. It smells like, uh, like ratatouille, to tell you the truth. I'm going to put a big dollop on. So this is going to be just a tuna, but it's got, thin, it's got, oh wow, that's lovely. It's got tuna in there as well. So here it is, from Three Hills. It's uh, just Maltese spread. 
I can't see that it's so small the letters but I'm sure it's got vegetables it's hard to eat because the Maltese bread is still hot oh that tomato is lovely they're really well known for their conserva because they use gozo tomatoes fresh tomatoes a little bit more expensive than the than the stuff that comes from Italy but if you look at the colour look at the colour guys when you when you open a Three Hills Conserva I don't know why it's a little bit more sweeter as well might be the tomato I'm gonna I'm gonna investigate what else is in here and I'll put it on underneath you definitely get the taste a really strong taste of tomatoes tuna the bread is gorgeous sorry about talking when I'm eating gonna get a wipe <laughs> hey that's lovely I've got it all mmm so it's combined with conserva, tomatoes and tuna. Looks like there's a few things in there though. The light is not good enough but I'm going to put below the ingredients in it. So that was tuna spread from Three Hills. The next one we're going to try. Pickles and beans. Ooh, lovely smell. A bit more a bit more watery consistency, I think. Mm, this has definitely got like pickled carrots, pickled beans, I think. There's something orange, so I don't know exactly now what that is. Well, it's not one, though, eh? Mmm, that tastes lovely. Look at that, guys. So it's pickled beans and, well, with pickles, so it could be a, a mixture of uh, veg. This is gorgeous. You know what they're trying to do with this? When you do the um, hops bezate, the elements of that has got to like be a bit pickled. You can serve that with pickles. So all sorts of things go into a tuna. But they've got a really nice taste going in. I had an idea, and I might try it. Make a spaghetti with the sauce. What do you think of that guys? Which one not? That's got a nice pickled Mmm. It's got a lovely pickle taste to it. Mmm, I'm making your mouth. I'm making your mouth water, guys. Especially the bread. The bread is gorgeous. Just from the bakery now. Still hot. And crusty. Yeah, I like the pickles. I think uh, I like it more than the tuna because it's got a more, a stronger taste. I, I love stronger taste. They would, they would make a nice spicy one of this. I don't know how it would go down in water. A bit more, well this is going to be, oh this is going to be the peppered one. Oh, completely different colour here, look, guys. Oh, and a different consistency altogether. That tuna is a very firm texture. So this is peppered cheeselets.
mm, this is this is my uh, lovely this a bit more a bit more uh, on the hot side <coughs> not too much definitely got like a, a cheesy pepper taste mm. anybody missing the Maltese bread guys <laughs> Mm, this is really good. I don't know. I like the peppered one. It's got like um, I like hot, hottish sort of things. One would be nice if they make some chili in it. I would go for that. I'm not sure. Peppered cheese, let's. Over here we've got the uh, pickled beans. Pickles and beans. So obviously the the beans have become pickled because they're inside there. And the tuna. But it's not just tuna, there's a mixture of all sorts in there. I think there's like some vegetables in there. I really enjoyed it. And the bread's the bread is the star of the show. What do you think guys? Comments below. Mark them out of ten. They're all over seven. I would go for the pickles, I think, me, personally. I think the pickle got a really nice sort of firm taste. But closely by the, uh, the tuna and then the cheeselets. Hope you enjoyed this short video about food. Englishmen in Malta and you, please subscribe. <laughs> I need some help on the channel, guys. Down below there's a bell. Click it and you'll be notified. Whenever I'm, I go on live as well, because I'm going to, now the weather's changing a bit, I'm going to go out and about and do some quick lives wherever I am. So when I do a video, probably I'll do a live. And you won't know unless you do that, click that bell, and you'll get notified, Englishman's live, and subscribe while you're at it. You might as well. I hope you enjoyed it. Three Hills Bread Spread, it's uh, Three Hills Maltese Spread, Sandwich Spread. Three lovely tastes. Maybe they bring some more out. Bye guys. Don't forget to subscribe. See you soon. See you on the next video.